Welcome back to all the Mods 8 Hardcore guys. Today we're doing something pretty cool. We're gonna be really automating and getting resources way better. Yes. That is right. I have come up with a new platform down here below, a new level that we're gonna be putting our materials in. And we're gonna be utilizing the Harvester Pylon and we're gonna be making a lot of the Supremium Growth Accelerators so we can really get stuff rolling. Because right now we're just really, like some of the stuff we're making is just not cutting it. Um, for instance, we need a lot of quartz, we need a lot of Certus quartz, and we also need a lot more uh, Aldemodium, Vibranium, and Unobtainium. So that's really what we're gonna be focusing on today is these guys. Now we do have them semi i mean they're actually automated right now they're chilling in here but they're just they're not very fast at all so we are going to be making that better so i figured right in the middle um which i think is here is this the middle it feels like the middle yes it is the middle wait no, this is the middle. One block over. I'm glad I did that. Cool. So this is the middle here. I'm going to put this farmland like so. That's three. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I think we're going to do these in a five by five. So, yes. Oh shoot, and the middle one. Yeah, we're gonna lose that it's a premium, but that's okay. We have stupid amounts of it. All right, and we're also gonna need to make that. We need a bucket. That's essentially what we need. Cool, so we have the bucket. Very good. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead, I think we'll do water buckets here. And if you guys have played all the mods, eight, you might know what I'm doing. Essentially, we're gonna be putting some uh, lily pads of fertility here. I do have a couple of them made up. So let's see. Yes, a lily pad of fertility, good. Um, also, I have set up the auto crafting recipe for the growth accelerators. Um, yeah, we're gonna want 60 of these. So we can start off with those. Um, whoop, too far. I don't know what I'm doing with that room yet. But essentially here, 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 here. And here we're all gonna have the lily pads of fertility. These guys are actually really simple to craft. You do need a lily pad, and then you need these fertile essence, which is from a catalyst gland, uh, creeper slash gas drop, slime pearl, green dye, and then a rib bone from a skeleton. And we get all of those from our mob farm, except for the lily pad. So all we gotta do is just find some lily pads and we're good to go. So yes, but now I believe this can go in here. Do a five by five, working status on, good. And then I believe we put this guy here and then we'll put an ender chest on top. But if I'm, if I'm certain, hmm, let's see. I do need to make one more of the Supremium hose. I do have those set for auto crafting. Where are we stuck? Oh, we're just literally stuck. Okay. So Supremium Ho, I do have one in here, but I use that for recipes. So we're gonna get another one crafted up. Um, yeah, it's, it's using its own separate thing, which is really cool. Wait, did the other one finish? Yes, the Ho finished. There we go, okay, so we can put that in there. Let's do that. Okay, so we never, th these are unbreakable. We don't ever have to um, worry about them again. Now I'm going to be making this an all the modium farm, and then you have to put 
this below the block, and I believe it doesn't need to be insanium. So that should work, and let's see. Let's try some of these growth accelerators. I'll eventually break them again. Um, we need a straight line. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that for all of these guys. Is just mine these all the way down. There we go. Okay. And then that should allow me to be able to place all of these down really good. Yeah, because that goes down. Yeah, so now I'm just going to kind of clear out this area. Cool. I'll be right back. Okay, so... Oh, gosh, I need that. <laughs> I got all of this completed. With Ultimine, this took no time at all. And then I also uh, left this here so you can get up and down here pretty fast. Um, but we can go ahead and put those below... And it should be growing a little faster, hopefully. Not too sure. Oh, look at that. So it grew. It's already, we already got one in there. Does this work? In case you guys didn't know, I have over 110 hours stored in here, so I've got plenty of time. I don't know if these are actually working. They probably are, but this is, this is growing actually pretty quick. We're only getting one per, which is kind of a bummer. Because with the Garden Clash, we were getting two per. But with all of these guys, uh, we should be we should be doing a little bit better. So I'm gonna mine, I'm gonna mine all of these. Okay. And we want just 60. Okay, it looks like I do need to go down a couple more blocks here. Uh, I thought I got all of them. That's okay, we need to be here. And there we go, they're all mined. One of the benefits of having a stupid overpowered pickaxe is you just go through everything. Very good, okay. So now this is maxed out with speed. We'll put that down here so we can access it. Sorry, I was... Uh, I was play I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom a lot, and I've been—I was like, "How did I not get back up there all the way?" Okay, so but I believe that that's the max speed that we can go for. Yeah, that's growing pretty good. I would say it's definitely faster than a garden cloche. So that's fantastic. Are there any uses for this guy? No, there's no uses. Well, cool. So this is actually growing very, very quickly. Um, we're going to set up a couple more of these for the vibranium and all of those. And then we can set up an ender chest on top so that the items go into our system. Ender, who? Ender chest. And then we'll grab pipe. And I do believe that it's very important that we have a big chest going into here because it would be nice just to have the ender chest here. But if I do remember correctly, this uh, the, the speed of the harvester pylon depends on how big the chest is up above it. So we wanna make sure that we have a lot of room and that's one of the biggest um, storages in the entire game. So when it comes to like a chest, there might be bigger. You guys can let me know down in the comments and I would gladly switch over to that but yeah once we have a full five by five of these dudes yeah it's gonna be amazing um it's growing going really fast which is amazing cool so i guess i'll be making some more um i guess i'll go for the magical soil uh we'll fill this in so five by five so i need 24 because we have one missing in the middle so i will get to work on that all right, dudes and dudettes, this is what we're rocking with. Um, <clears throat> so I've decided that, well, I just noticed something. I could, ah, oh, frick, I just mined. I just noticed that we could actually expand this out to a five by, I thought we had to have this as a three by three. Good news, we don't. We can build it like this. 
Oh, yes. Um, I don't have enough Insanium farmland right now, and I'm currently doing a massive auto-crafting project. Um, yeah, so this, we're rocking with the Supremium for now. Don't worry, eventually we'll upgrade it all. It is not concerning, but check it out! Yes, and then I do have a couple more of these in a bucket. Cool! So we can make it really uniform. And I also decided to only have it just go right in because, for one, it didn't look that good. And we're, we're not able to get these growing fast enough to, to worry about that. Uh, if you guys have, like, a really cool way to get these guys growing fast, like, let me know and I'll do it. But, I mean, we should be fine. Like, the fastest one we have over here is this guy. I switched the infirmary over here. I put the all the modium over there. And this guy doesn't even... Oh, wait, no. It's... Wait, what? Oh, these are Inferium. Sorry. This guy here, and it doesn't grow fast enough. So I think, honestly, having it this large is going to be perfectly fine. Uh, this all, this is coming next episode. It's kind of weird. I recorded episode 26 before I finished recording episode 25. But yeah, so this is looking good. Um, yeah, freaking awesome. We got bees. <laughs> okay. Okay, so cool thing is, is that the time has passed. We should have, yep, 201 Insanium blocks. That took, I think, two hours of auto crafting to do that. So let's see here. <clears throat> I would like to make another Supremium hoe. The only problem is we are out of Prosperity Shards, which is why we have the bees set up for next episode. Um, yeah, so we're kind of hosed until that so what we can go ahead and do is um let's grab all the modium unobtainium unobtainium ready for another lesson i swear i'm gonna do a live stream where i just fix all of the things i think unobtainium is the only one we have left and the reason why we're out of prosperity seeds is because I crafted a heck ton of... Why are you there? I crafted a heck ton of prosperity seeds. So let's go back to the original base real quick. <clears throat> I did set this up to be semi-automatic. Doesn't allow the prosperity seeds through. Um, and that's some insanium farmland. What are we out of? We are out of the Insanium. Wait. Wait, did I mess up somewhere? You here. You here. You. You, okay. Magical soil, cool. So that's crafting up some more magical soil. After those are done, what we can do is do some of this these in to the corners oh yeah and then we'll throw more of these in very cool so the main thing that we're missing is the magical soil um, and that you get insanium dragon scales yeah now we have a bunch of insanium so we can make more of the magical farmland which is great Insanium. One. One. What? Oh. Cool. Now we have a full stack of those. So I'm going to throw these in here and get the prosperity seed out. And I will let this go. I don't know. If we do this. Oh my gosh, you can speed up mystical agriculture? Holy shnikes, okay. That's a little overpowered. <laughs> oh, look at those seeds coming in. I think that's all of them. Holy heck, Batman, that's fantastic. All right, wow. Jeez. Okay, so... This is all the modium. This is going to be vibranium. We will put um, the unobtainium right here. 
All right. And these are all here. Good. So I do need to kill some more dragons, but these guys, oh, and I also need a hoe in here. Hmm, I wonder <clears throat> how much, how much all the modium do we have? Okay. Because I think, honestly, just switching over to the hammer to an all the modium hoe might be a really good idea. So you need two and two. Okay. So I think we only need one of these for now. Oh, no, this needs to be like this. And we need two of these and we get ourselves an all the modium hoe. Yes, indestructible. That's all we really need. <clears throat> so, yes, unobtainium is now being harvested. Good. So I think the remaining, <clears throat> like we need to, to fill this up as, as fast as we can, because the more we fill it up, we can get un, we can get all those guys. All right, but all that's left to do is to just kind of let our system do its own thing. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the episode for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter one. Sorry for that. But anyways, I'll see you all next episode where we get into bees. I think you guys will like it a lot. Um, I like the way the farm is set up. So anyways, take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.